You know how you can be thinking about one thing and the next thing you know you're thinking about something completely different? Okay, yeah, so I was thinking about my kids. Just thinking about what they do, how they've grown up. I got five, five kids. From 35 years old down to 11. It's a long story how that happened. Uh, two grandkids. And they're all good kids, and I was thinking about them, and then I was thinking about, all of a sudden, my parents, my dad, my mom, and just, they've both been gone for a long time. And then for some reason, popped into my head, how did I become a truck driver? You know, it's, it's, it's really strange to me how that progressed into my life and how that, how that came about. Now, for me, it was an unusual way, but I, cause, but I know that, you know, my parents weren't drivers, my dad wasn't a driver, no uncles, no brothers, no cousins, nobody. For me, I ended up going into the Army at 17 because I screwed around in high school too much, wasn't going to graduate on time. So, join the Army. What are you going to do? I don't know. What can I do? And I don't even remember how I, I decided on it. I decided to be a truck driver in the Army. I thought I'd go to Germany. And at the time in the, in the middle 70s, Army guys were driving those Transtar International 9670 cab overs all over the Autobahn hauling tanks and ammo and fuel. But that didn't happen for me. I ended up at Fort Hood, Texas in an armor division and driving all, all sorts of Deuce and ass, five tons, gamma goats. And I don't know if any of you guys, old school guys from the Army, remember a goer. G-O-E-R. Google it, look it up, see what it looks like. Not a truck. But I drove it. I drove the crap out of it. But I started thinking about what's the progression for a lot of guys these days. You know, I've been doing this almost 40 years. Uh, I know there's probably a billion ways people can get into truck driving. Uh, like I said before, the guys, kids coming up that have uncles and, and grandfathers and dads and cousins, and not just guys, girls too. That's one way to get into it. It's in your blood, it's in your DNA. You want to be a truck driver, that's all you think about being. That's what your family does, that's what you do. And then I know, I've heard of, when I was over the road, we had several guys who were businessmen in the professional world, you know, 20, 15, 20 years as a professional person, decided they're tired of that rat race, go to driving school, become a truck driver, over a truck driver. And then, uh, and then there's guys like me. I mean, I know also I've heard guys and girls who hooked up somehow with their significant other who was a truck driver, an over the road driver, and rode with them. They decide go to CDL school, get their CDL, come out on the road. For me, I didn't go to CDL school. Uh, back when I was starting out, you just had to have a chauffeur's license back then and just find somebody to hire you. Start out in box trucks, whatever. I hauled fuel, I hauled groceries, I hauled produce, and finally ended up in LTL. Now, you OTR guys, it takes a special, special kind of driver and a special marriage to be able to, to hold up to all the, the difficulties of being an over-the-road driver, staying out for weeks at a time. Special kind of parents to be able to raise kids in that situation where one of you or both of you are gone for a long period of time. Come home and you have to take, take care of things at home and it, it just takes a special way to do that and to raise kids, it just does. But uh, yeah, I just started thinking about that Tell me what, how you came up in truck driving. How'd you start? And I don't necessarily mean I went to driving school and I learned how to do this and I got on with so-and-so. No, how did you land on being a truck driver? How did you decide that you were gonna be a truck driver? And are you still a truck driver? Have you done it forever? Are you retired? Is it the lifestyle that you just love and even with all the hassles that it takes, then the last thing I thought about was, would I recommend 
to my kids to be a truck driver. And you know, I'm not so sure. The things are, way things are now in trucking, what's coming up in technology, I'm not sure I would recommend it to them. I mean, not just the hassles, I would tell them the truth, the hard part. Dealing with dr other drivers, dealing with weather, being gone all the time, just shippers and receivers, all that normal stuff we all deal, you know, have dealt with. But I'm thinking more for my for kids coming up today, they need to start thinking about technology. Now you old school guys, you old heads, you don't want to admit it, but electric trucks are coming. And they may not be coming for you and me if you've been in this as long as me, but they're coming. And I'm really sure I'm not gonna lose my job to autonomous trucks, but they're coming too. So would you recommend to these younger guys and younger girls that truck driving as a living and as a lifestyle is still gonna be the same? Is it still even gonna be there? Or go in, should you go into brokerage or fleet management or something where you don't have to drive because there's not gonna be truck drivers forever. It's gonna be autonomous trucks. So those are the thoughts I had skipping from one thought to another. Probably did it all in about five minutes, but even in my head. But let me know what you think. Go down in the comments. Tell me how it went for you, what you would do. Would you recommend driving as a career now for these younger guys coming up? How long do you think it's gonna take for these electric trucks? Which you still have drivers in electric trucks, but it's not gonna be the same. It's not gonna be the same lifestyle. It's just not gonna be the same trucking. And then autonomous driver trucks, they have drivers in them now monitoring things, but eventually they'll just be all on track all by themselves going down the road even last mile deliveries probably. Or maybe is local last mile stuff gonna la you know, last longer for us to stay into. Anyway, let me know all that and go down in the description. Hit me up on Instagram and on the Mark's Trucking Life Facebook group. Sign up for those. The, uh, the links are in the description. So we'll see you down the road.